this video to basically show you how cerebral palsy, arthritis, and several other of my chronic illnesses affect me. Um, this is basically a video about things I can't do. Um, like I can't straighten my leg all the way. I can't bend down or bend over. And so I wanted to bring y'all along and show y'all. Get in first part is to show y'all that I can't bend down or not bend down, bend over. Um, I my legs aren't all that straight, and that's because I don't really stretch anymore. So this is about as far as I can bend down. Let me get y'all from it. Let me show y'all a different angle or show you how. I guess how it affects me. Show you from the floor, basically. So, basically this is me standing up. And that's as far as I can bend down. There is literally about an inch. Um, show you the actual floor part of how much I can actually bend down. That's as far as I can bend down my back and my legs do not stretch out and that is because I don't stretch like I'm supposed to. I am actually supposed to stretch more and more with the cerebral palsy because the cerebral palsy actually tightens up my muscles and so that affects me greatly so I actually have to stretch and I don't this other way it affects me and uh, things I can't really do is straighten out my legs. Um, I'm gonna show you my legs. That is how they are regularly when I, you know, just straighten them out. But it is, I can straighten them out technically, but if I were to go, if I were to actually put my, someone's able to grab my legs, I could not, um, I couldn't hold it very well. I, I would be screaming in pain. Um, so basically what that is, is it, it's my muscles tightening and it's very difficult. So I'm gonna basically show you how or why I, why I have difficulty moves, why I can't um, straighten them all that well. So this is then like regularly, you know, just thrown out, thrown my, you know, relaxing my legs. But okay, I can straighten them and it, pulls already just a little bit and I can't see how it has that. That's me trying my best to straighten them and they can't because you see that extra lift. I can't do that. And this is about as far as I can stretch because um, you can see that lift already. That's as far as I can stretch. But if I try to stretch anymore, it hurts on my back, but it also pulls right here. So it is very difficult. Um, Basically what I was told was I would need to get an actual therapist to help me work that out with. So it is, it's kind of a not so win-win. Um, so this next part is basically showing you that I cannot walk straight because of the cerebral palsy. And the reason behind that is because my muscles are severely tight and it basically, it makes, with cerebral palsy, it makes your muscles grow tighter and tighter and you basically um, it makes you into kind of I would say at least for me it makes me feel like um, a baby almost because you get really stiff or, or like an elderly person you get really stiff you know you can't move um, but I mean it doesn't just affect my walking you know it affects my muscles it affects you know straightening my muscles and um, I have very good movement on my arms and stuff. It's just mainly my legs and my knees and my ankles. Um, so let's get into it. Okay. No fun. Calm down. I'm not gonna grab you. So those are all, or those are the three most. Um, those are the three main things that I can't do because of my cerebral palsy but I am working on them and I am stretching. Uh, I will be most likely going to get their physical therapy to help them. Um, in two more weeks, I will be getting my AFOs, my leg braces to help me, you know, to be able to walk better, hopefully walk straighter, not uh, have to drag my leg 
so um, I'm really excited about that so but anyway if you like this video give it a like follow if you will please we will catch you next time guys bye mm -hmm.